the pro with the fro, Kyle Troop, and PBA Hall of Famer, Tommy Jones. Those two contenders square off for a chance to dethrone King Jason next on the PBA King of the Lanes. Troop and Jones with the queen, Kimberly Pressler. Uh, Kyle, we saw you earlier in the week with your dad, Gup. Unfortunately, you guys did not advance in the royal families, but you're here in the individual event today. How bad do you want to beat this guy right here? Oh, uh, it's at the top of my list. You know, I've known him for a long time. Uh, he probably babysat me a little bit back uh, running around with Guppy. Uh, we have a lot, of, a lot of friendly wagers from time to time, so uh, I think this one's going to trump any and all from now on. Oh, goodness. Can you want to tell us a little bit about that wager? I mean, he's been eating really well this year. He's been bowling pretty good, but uh, I think it's time we put an end to that. Good luck to you tonight. Thank you. Tommy, how bad do you want to beat the reigning player of the year, especially after what he just said? Well, he was a bad kid growing up, so I spanked him then, so we're going to try to spank him now. So. And that is all that needs to be said. Let's get to some bowling. Yeah, just, just, just move on from that one, Kimberly. Oh, look who's in the house. Gup, as always, surrounded by some upstanding, good-looking young ladies, right? That is how Gup rolls over That's there. how he rolls, man. Rolling out of Penn Station in Newton, North Carolina, Kyle Troop! Yeah, the reigning player of the year in 2021. He won the Players' Championship for $100,000. He won the PBA playoffs for $100,000. No one finishing move. I got you. Double pick, baby. And anytime Kyle double picks it, Rob, <laughs> there's a good payday. Yeah. And probably a belt as well. Yep. Yeah. And we just saw a shot of his dad, Guppy, in the crowd. And Guppy was there as well. It was last year when he won the PBA playoffs. It's now King of the Lanes time. Troop and Jones, one match winner to take on Sterling. Oh, 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 oh. He bowls out of Golden Lanes in Simpsonville, South Carolina. PBA Hall of Famer, Tommy Jones. Oh, yeah. You know, Rob, we, we talked about the revitalization of Tommy Jones and how He's found the fountain of youth somehow. Well, he's made a lot of money this season. What do you think the chances are? How much do you think it would cost you and I to get a little bit of that info? On how he's doing it? Yeah, yeah I would love to know where that fountain is. I mean, right? we are in Florida. That's where the rumors are the fountain of youth is. It's, it's a battle of Carolinas today. South Carolina, North Carolina. PBA Hall of Famer, 2020. So if you're South Carolina, do you follow the Gamecocks? Yes. And if you're North Carolina? It's the Tar Heel State. Tar Heel? Yep, okay. So, all right, I get football. You, you, I mean, you follow North Carolina. Break was a little bit longer than I thought. Well, if you're asking me. I know I know who you follow. Uh, yeah. You follow North Carolina. 100%. But right. there's, there's also North Carolina State. There's Wake Forest. There's all those other schools. But, yeah, it's it's North Carolina. And it's South Carolina. Those are the two. Okay. The two but, big boys in those two states. Up in the northern part, or up in North Carolina, is it predominantly North Carolina? Yes. Duke. North Carolina. Are you, are you being biased or you're both? Okay. Biased and truthful. All right. <laughs> Opening double for TJ. Want to get better? You start practicing more. All right, let's throw the Rubicon on. Would you make a change that early? Based on the react, the ball reaction I saw, I would. Okay. Well, let's take a look at today's Brunswick oil pattern. It is the Carmen Salvino. Do you know I won a doubles tournament with Carmen Salvino once? Did you really? In Cheektowaga, New York. Cheektowaga! Ruway Lane, yep. So two ways to play it. We saw Norm Duke play the blue line much straighter, or you can move in and soft hook it. That's what Tommy Jones and Kyle are, do are doing. We saw Norm Duke last night, unable to get through the contenders match. See how stronger the motion is on that lane with that ball? Yeah, he's got the left lane dialed in right yep. now for sure. 
Just inside fourth arrow. I hope he never loses that. I, I, I'd hate to know what would make him lose that personality, that warmth, that openness. TJ, oh, little headbutt. Put down its horns. Yeah, that was the head pin. Yeah. Nice shot here from inside Bolero Jupiter in Jupiter, Florida. Fifth straight night. We've been here for our King of the Lanes coverage. Looking for four in a row. Messenger, no. Well, he said he wanted to change, but he's sticking with the same ball in that yep. right lane. Hmm. All right, so it's the reality on both lanes for truth. Tommy Jones using a Black Widow Ghost. We've seen him use that ball a lot this season. A little better touch on this shot, Rob. Ten pin got mauled early, so quickly taken out of contention. So two straight now for Troop. Can take the lead right here. Look at that money. Just missing half a mil. Single season record. New leader, Kyle Troop, perfect on this left lane. Knows where that camera is, doesn't he? He knows where Charles Montgomery is. Oh, Chaz. Chaz is smiling right now, I see him. All right, Tommy Jones, up now in that right lane off that nine spare. Great touch on this one as well. A little bit softer on that right lane to get it to come around the corner, Rob. In the words of Bo Burton, who lives right up yeah, the road. Yeah, right around the corner. He would say that that right lane has a little more lubricity. <laughs> like an otter? I have no idea what you're talking about. The otter pocket thingamajigger? Yeah, kind of yeah, like that. Like that. Yeah. Tommy Jones in the six. No. Oh, what? No. It's the nine. Well, a little more friction like we've been talking about on that left lane. It makes the ball go right Come past on. the nine pin. Watch this. Boom. See ya. Yep. Kyle Troop and Tommy Jones set to wrap up their showdown. The winner to meet that man, Jason Stern, trying to take that crown off his head. Jason, Randy, and Rob up here in the booth. First of all, congrats on moving on. But you had your hands filled with Carlos. Yeah, he bowled. Uh, he bowled a really good game. Uh, he showed some uh, some some guts out there. And uh, you know, for bowling your first show, that's uh, that's that's how you do it. You, you see anything different in this matchup between Kyle and Tommy? Yeah, it looks like they're a little bit closer than uh, Carlos and Duke were, so that may change uh, my ball selection or maybe my strategy. Um, but we'll have to see as a, as a practice session goes on. All right, thank you, Jason. Jason took care of Carlos Granados last night, got the front six, won at 257 to 234. Now he sits on his throne and waits to find out who his challenger will be. Go, go, go! Four bagger for Troop. Slight drift to the left to open up the hips in his angle. And 
perfection. Right? <laughs> you like that? That's a good one. It's not bad. It's a good one. That fro is for real, too, by the way. It was legit. Yeah. There are at least five hair picks that are lost in there somewhere. <laughs> Perfect on that left lane. Inside a target. Now remember, he was right of fourth arrow, so he either made a move or he got that one in and it laid there. Held its line to the pocket. So all of a sudden, Tommy Jones down 21. Oh, go. Tommy's in trouble here. Yeah. Big trouble. I saw you glaring at me, Sherry. You were glaring right there. All our PBA action also available on the Fox Sports app. Let's go, Tommy. Down the pit. A little better. Great double look. I wonder you your last one laid. Would you say the, the <laughs> last shot he threw in the right lane? Something about him being <laughs> yeah. in trouble? Yeah. Did I get it right? Yeah, you can take that to another level now. Yeah. So he goes high on the right lane, then he goes light. For a 248 on the left lane, Tommy Jones in trouble. Ball's not reading the pattern right all of a sudden. Oh, nice cover, though. Yep. Six pack alert time. If Kyle Troop could strike here. He's going to win. How much? I think it's 50. It, uh, is it $1,000? $1,000 yep. sponsored by Paps Blue Ribbon in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Please remember to drink responsibly. If he gets this, we're going to have Guppy crack open the six-pack. Open that six-pack, up. Share the goods, Guppy. Share the goods, man. Where's the beer? You see it's coming. It's coming, Guppy. It's okay. coming, Guppy. Randy, give him the... All right, I'll be, quick. I'll, I'll be right back. It's been sitting underneath your chair all night. Just give it to him. I'll be right back. Give me a sec. Keep. Hey. I got it here. You I got, got it. it. I got right. it locked down. Just like Kyle's got this one in lockdown. Six straight strikes. Seven total through eight frames for Troop. The lead at 36. He is on the verge of setting himself up with a showdown for the throne with Jason Sterner. Tommy just said something to Kyle. <laughs> Not sure what it was. I but might might have something to do about their bet, perhaps. It, it was a little snippy. I think Kyle's going to get a good meal out of this. Yeah, as you should. Get some extra appetizers. Oh, yeah. Just a little kiss. Yeah. Just a kiss to drop it down. Game over. Kyle Troop's going to take on Sterner. Done hook over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, Rob. Yeah. Uh, Tommy's going to shoot this, and then Kyle's going to bowl the tenth frame. Um, I'm going to go grab some brewskis for. for uh, I'm going to grab some paps for Gup. Uh, the calm is yours. Roger, Dodger. Never shot that one on TV. What a flat finish here for Tommy. This is not what we have seen from him through the course of this season. All right. Jason Sterner, watch out, a fro is eyeing your crown. It will sit heavy and high. But Sterner has to relinquish it first. Jason Sterner, Kyle Troop, coming up next here in our King match.